Hello my friends, I am Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we are going to tackle part two of a two-part series where I show you how to incorporate antiques, vintage items, old things in general, into a modern home. something I grew up going to auctions antique markets flea markets being drug around in the heat standing for hours watching auctioneers auction off junk and I swore that I would never put antiques into my home turns out mom was right but what I'm really intentional about is creating a modern home that doesn't look old when I add old things to it. And that is what I wanna teach you today as well. Adding antiques or older items to a modern home is a really great way to create this environment of a storied feeling, kind of historical. It's got lots of charm and character. It's not too pretentious, it's really inviting and nothing feels too like hands off because everything's super clean and new. It just has this element of coziness that I really love and it's unique and so your home will not look like you just walked into a big box store and filled it up with things that you found on the shelf. It's gonna feel a little bit more collected, a little bit more you and your personal style because everything that you buy is gonna feel more one of a kind. And I love that about adding antiques or adding older pieces to your home and envisioning how they could be used in a new way. Now I want you to quickly drop in the comments, what is your favorite antique or vintage item that you have in your home or like a vintage collection, something that you just really love and there's a story behind the hunt and there's like just some excitement over the find. I wanna know what that piece is, drop it in the comments. So with that, let's get started. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I found at the antique store. I only walked away with one item, but I'm gonna show you how I use it in my home. And then I'm gonna show you some of the things that I found that I already owned, similar looking things, and how I incorporate them into my style and into our home here. So I came home with this cutie and I thought it would be really perfect for all of my essential oils and supplies for organic cleaning. So I washed it, I used my thieves cleaner on it, washed it, vacuumed it, definitely killed quite a few egg sacs from spiders. So make sure you clean these kinds of pieces real well. And now we're gonna fill it up and it's gonna replace everything that's been spread around my house in bathroom cupboards, in this pantry, in bedrooms, and it'll all be in one spot. Now let me just give you a quick brief overview of my home. If you've missed my home tour, I will link that for you in the description and it gives you every room in my home so you can kind of get a grasp for how my style is. But as you can see, I love to mix old and new pieces. I have a lot of big furniture pieces that are new and I have a lot of big furniture pieces that are old. I have a lot of smaller decor items that are new and a lot of smaller decor items that are old and that is one of the biggest keys to incorporating older items into your home is mixing new and old together seamlessly so that neither one feels out of place. Adding more modern lines like a clean, sleek sofa is a great way to balance some of the more vintage items that you see on my shelves because it's kind of a give and take so that not everything is old, not everything is new, and it just works really nicely together. My overall design style is more modern and then I love to add in a lot of these organic elements like a weird architectural piece that you wouldn't find anywhere else or a vintage painting, lots of plants, incorporating linens and textures, smaller antique pieces, and just kind of looking for ways to add those older elements to a new modern space. First up, let's talk about some of these larger furniture pieces that I found in the antique store and how you can incorporate them into your home. I love looking for pieces like small dressers or bookshelves or console tables because they can really easily integrate into a modern home as perhaps a nightstand or as an entryway table or as storage for games in a living room. These are smaller pieces that can really fit into a lot of different spaces in a modern home. Using 
Furniture pieces is one of my absolute favorite way to incorporate antiques or vintage pieces into your home because they're large, they set a tone for a room, they make a statement on their own, but they're not really super like overtly antique, right? Like they're not like china dolls or doilies or vintage teacups or some of those things that like you look at it and you're like, oh, that's super old. This is a super old pantry cupboard that I refinished. I'll link it for you. It was quite the extravaganza, but it also just fits. It fits with our style and I've updated it so that it feels a little bit more modern with a lighter wood tone rather than a super orange or a red oak. Furniture is a great way to add storage. This holds our pantry items and it's cute at the same time. This is another great furniture piece. It was a vintage piece that I refinished, and that is a great way to incorporate some older things into your home as well as refinishing them. I've refinished a lot of coffee tables, a lot of cabinets, and they always feel a bit more modern if you get paint on them or if you update the wood tone. And so if you've been living with a hand-me-down or an heirloom and you aren't committed to keeping the color that it is, highly recommend refinishing it either with paint new stain, just raw wood, whatever the case is that fits your style, and incorporating it into your home to make it fit what you love. Because here's the thing, while there may be some grandmas out there who are devastated if you update their cabinet, there are others who are gonna absolutely love that you've created something that you love, that works in your home, that you can pass down to your children, and that you'll be okay with them updating it someday as well. In my mind, there's no real benefit to keeping an heirloom that you hate and storing it somewhere. Instead, update it to something that you love and display it and use it in your home. Of course, that's personal preference. Every family is different, every person is different, but that's just my two cents. On this cabinet, I've mixed old and new and that's what makes it feel more current. I have these brand new limestone knots set right next to an antique industrial piece. I don't even know what it was for. It looks like a mold of some kind, but it's really cool architecture that you can add to your shelf and kind of think outside the box on how your antiques can be displayed. I also have vintage basket next to vintage horses combined with a modern pottery piece, some floats, some antique floats that I thought would just be kind of cute right inside of there, like so. And you've got modern mixed with antique and it's just interesting. It just adds character and something that's kind of outside the norm. Now, if you remember when I went to the antique store, these were sitting there and I told you I would show you what I did with them. This is what I've done. I think they're cute that way. Jugs and pottery pieces I have on the top and I also have inside of here. You can find those everywhere and they're really easy to incorporate because they're neutral. They add a really cool texture and kind of old charm feel to the space. But like I said, you can find them brand new as well so they feel up to date. Now this is another great way to incorporate old and new. So we have this old stool. It's kind of cobbled together, but it has lots of character and charm. We have this old jug, which you can find at literally every antique store or flea market that you go to. And we've combined them with new modern sleek chairs, some cute books, and it doesn't feel like my home is a museum. It is totally usable. It's been beat up for decades before I received it. And so it just feels more homey and inviting. Now I have a whole slew of things behind me that I have to <laughs> decorate with, but I love wood bowls. Wood bowls are like the collection of all collections that I have. And I love just creating a stack of bowls. I know it sounds really simple, but it's just visually interesting and it's a collection that I love. So just doing smaller items in a collected look and display can go a long way. Now let's head into the dining room and talk about mixing old and new that are alike and combining old into collections. Now here's a great example of how to mix the old and the new, especially when you have kind of like a replica. So this cutting board is brand new. It's not antique, but it kind of has that antique appearance with the contrasting wood right here. This is an antique. And so when you pair light items that are new and old, it kind of freshens up the look so that it's not just 
all old and it also feels really cohesive and um, it doesn't feel out of place. This is also a vintage piece, but you could find this brand new at the same time. It's a very similar style. It just has some of that like old character because of the patina on it. Now over here on the shelving, I have a bunch of vintage and antique paintings. And when you group like items and it looks like a collection, it helps it feel more intentional than just sporadically interspersing a couple of things here and there. And I also have another example of grouping new with old and it's a similar style. It's a similar color. And so it kind of flows well together, but you have the character piece and then you have the interesting more modern piece. Pottery and paintings are definitely my favorite way of including vintage pieces because you can find them brand new. And even nowadays, like you go to Target and they are replicating old pieces like crazy. And so you know that if you have something authentic and original and charming, it's probably going to fit with more modern things because it's something that's just stood the test of time and it is coming out on top through the ages. And so you can incorporate those fun finds, have memory behind them, have the hunt behind them and still have it feel modernized. Demi Johns are ancient. Demi Johns were used in ancient times. They held oil, they held wine, and they are beautiful. And so even now you can find replicas like this. This is actually an antique, but just kind of looking at some of the things that pop into stores and they are trying to replicate the older pieces, that's when you know that if you find the older pieces that they are going to work with a modern home. Finding block prints and sketches like this one are also my favorite finds because they're really neutral. Usually it's black and white or whatever color the paper has aged to and it really fits in and it's neutral and it's not really in your face or like as bright as something like these vintage oil paintings are. The trick is kind of combining old and new. So using vintage pieces, mixing them with more modern furnishings or curtains can go a long way. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you had fun and you learned something about how to kind of incorporate the old and new, how to make it still feel modern, but still have that character and charm and that you learned something along the way. Coming soon, I'm gonna be chatting about this stone that you see right here and what we've done in our living room to completely transform the look and feel of this space and add character and charm in a different way. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. I will see you next time on Grace in My Space.